Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way of building a wireless follow focus system out of a standard RC radio. It requires minimal knowledge of electronics and very few tools. Let's start with a brief demonstration of the finished product. In terms of features, you're going to get a low-end follow focus device. You'll be able to adjust server rotation, reverse its direction and set rotational limits. What you will not get is the ability to memorize and recall focal points. That you will have to do by hand, as if operating a manual follow focus device. The effective range of the system will depend entirely on the specs of the remote control kit you buy. I picked Futaba Magnum 2PL, which can be purchased nowadays for less than 100 US dollars. I also chose to modify the receiver purely for aesthetic reasons. You can take your own mod as far as you like. There's just one component that you will have to change to make it all work, so let's get right to it. You can use a variety of RC kits, most of them will work, regardless of the brand. What you will find in the standard kit is a transmitter, battery pack, a receiver and a bunch of servos. What we will do is replace the main potentiometer inside the transmitter with a custom one. In this case I use the 5k linear uh, adjustable potentiometer with a knob and ended up with something like this. I also gathered a bunch of receiver components and put them together in a plastic project enclosure and added an L-shaped bracket to make mounting to the rail system easier and then ended up with something that you've already seen that looks like this. And now let's do a quick transmitter teardown. And this is pretty much it. I had to remove the surface mount resistor and replace it with a through hole one. I had to drill a bigger hole to make sure that everything went in nicely. I uh, ran extension lines matching the exact pin configuration from the place where the old potentiometer was to the new one. I put a little bit of glue to make sure that wires didn't come off when I was wiggling the board. To find out what potentiometer to use as a replacement, you'll either have to desolder the old one and measure its resistance value with a multimeter or it might even be written somewhere on the board. In my case, the result ended up being a 5k linear potentiometer and that's the one that I bought. Why do the mod in first place, you might ask? Uh, why replace the potentiometer with the exact same one? Well, that is because the kit that you will get originally will have certain limitations. This wheel will not turn more than 20 degrees, most likely, and it will keep returning to the center position, something that's completely undesirable in a follow focus system. What you will want instead is a wheel capable of turning as close to 360 degrees as possible and remaining in its final position. To finish off this demonstration, let's gather all the receiver components together and see if we can combine them into something that's a little bit more practical. When I was building this project, I had the access to Zakuto manual follow focus uh, system and that is why I added that metal L-shaped bracket uh, to make sure that it interfaced with the existing rail system. Uh, so inside of this plastic enclosure, you can see all the internal components. Uh, I didn't do any modification to them. It is the servo, the original receiver that came with the uh, Futaba RC kit. And I added a power switch and an LED indicator to be able to tell when it's being switched on or off. It's not mandatory, but it's something that I added for my own convenience. And this concludes today's demonstration. If you like electronics, visual effects or anything in between, then please subscribe.